we're doing our morning exercise on the deck and we gotta fish it from a local fisherman it's breakfast Rianne. it's a present <laughs> it's a pre really yeah. <gasps> uh, uh, uh oh I don't, <laughs> I don't dare to say so, but we're going back to Didem. We had perfect conditions to fly the drone. While sailing, we had 10 knots of wind. We put the drone in the air. We made amazing shots. Hello. Is this final time? Yeah. <laughs> I am Rihanna. And I am Sherman. And this is our son, Benjamin. 2020 has been a year of adventures and challenges. We drove all the way from Amsterdam to Didem, Turkey to get to our sailing home. We did a total refit and now we can finally start sailing around the world while setting up and expanding our businesses. Join our adventures and welcome on board. Benjamin! What is that? What is it? I think so. <laughs> no, we did. Um, we changed the inverter. Um, we had some other, some, some other boat jobs, and it didn't went very smooth. Everything, but uh, yeah, now we are going, and we are not coming back. No, this is the last time. Now yeah. we finally can start sailing the world. Yes, yes, yeah. and it feels very really strange and good. When you have a boat, things will break down, and but we will fix it along the way. We're going out of the marina, not yeah. too far because it's already getting dark and then uh, we're gonna explore the southern parts more yeah a couple of weeks two maybe yeah two three weeks two, we go to Gutjek, Fethiye, Kas and then we have to make a decision or we go directly to transit Greece if we that's possible Malta. or Cyprus or Malta yeah and when I think about it now I don't know how you feel it but maybe it's gonna be Malta directly I yeah. think so as well Oh, yeah. interesting. We didn't talk about it. <laughs> no, I already had it in my mind. Ah, yeah. okay. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, so we are waiting for uh, the dad of a friend of Benjamin. Yeah, he's they play together really nice. Yeah, and he's go he's gonna bring some uh, olive oil, homemade olive oil. From their garden, uh, olive trees. And then um, you can start the engine. Yeah, set to go. Wow. wow, thank you. Thank you so much. This is homemade. You have to wait one a week one before week. eating. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Always... It will uh, more tasty. Okay. Ah, After good. Week. Thank you so much. Thank uh, you so good much. appetite. Thank yes, we you. will. Thank we you. will. I have to go because time is up. Thank you. Bye. Outside is forbidden. Bye bye. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. It's curfew. Oh yes, it's oh it's yes. He's not allowed to stay outside anymore. But I thought it was olive oil, but it are olives. Yeah. Go go. Go go. Benjamin, go go. Shoes, shoes, no, 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 we're going sailing. Yes, yeah, sailing. Bye bye. So we were discussing a little bit what to do. The sun is going down already. Uh, we have eight knots of wind sometimes 10 12 the wind coming from the side and of course because we've been here all so many times we want to go as far as south as possible so we can start with exploring Kecek and all the other beautiful uh, parts of turkey and uh, making ourselves ready to do uh, the crossing towards maltes so what are we gonna do full sails full sail come on okay. nose in the wind So Captain, time to shut down the, the engine? Yeah, I thought to let it run for a while in neutral, to let it calm down and then shut yeah, off. Yeah, but I think you did it already yeah? for... Okay. Yeah. 
I always wait for the real captain to tell me, uh, shut up the engine. You did it all by yourself, exiting the marina? Yeah, but it was a little bit more easy than the last time. The last time we had the wind blowing us towards the quay and now we had the wind blowing us away, the of, um, yeah, away of the quay. So it was a little bit more easier. Yeah, but you did a great job. Thank you. Where are we going to sail? Where? Okay, we're going to sail. Around the world. Yeah, we're to Montenegro, Venice, uh, Ibiza, Spain, uh, Morocco. And that's only this year. Canaries. <laughs> Canaries. Caribbean. Caribbean. Yes. Ja, goed zo Ben. Dan gaan we roeien naar de kant. Nou, oh, deze doet papa. Doe hem hou maar over, over je ogen en neus. Zo, hou maar vast. Dan doe mama er overheen. Ja. Ja. Waar is de vuurtoren? Ja, Lighthouse, huh? Kauw! Dat is nog een stukje verder, hè? Sorry, we zijn op de hoogste punt hier. En we hebben een prachtige view. Over daar is het Griek eiland Nisiros, onze geliefde eiland. Daar is Kos. En dit is Dacia. Turkey and we wanted to go to the lighthouse but it's really it's uh, it's a climb Benjamin is doing extremely well look at him 
Yes. The highest point it, it is. Not to the light. Oh, it's uh, two times further than we've been already. It's a little bit too much for today. Yes. I have a leader. Divide the odds. Set a new standard. Benjamin is a born leader. He is singing for us. Listen. Bumpy night, lots of wind here in the bay, so we turned 180 degrees, put a lot of anchor chain out. Benjamin was a little bit restless, so little to no sleep. Ready for some kickstart. We're gonna do our uh, morning exercises over here. A little beach where we were yesterday as well. And Benjamin can play around and we can do our exercises. doing her kinergy. We are exploring here in the caves and this is the real caveman. Aha! Aha! This! This! So amazing that we can exercise in the nature. We find a spot and I have to be honest, Rianna said, come on, let's exercise. Not on the boat, but on the shore. And I said, no, 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 I can't do my push-ups uh, on the rocks and uh, a little bit resistance. But now I'm, uh, I'm really happy I did it. A good example of uh, pushing through and do things in a different way than you had in your mind before. Sailing away from Nidos. We put the main up, had the engine on just for lifting the anchor, and now we are sailing. We are going uh, in the direction of Marmaris. Marmaris! Marmaris, here we come! Five minutes ago, we had four knots of wind. Now we have 22 knots of wind. And three minutes ago, we had 28 knots of wind. Like within seconds. And we were lucky now because we, can, we could see it coming from the sea on the waves. But back there, we couldn't. It was just from land. Like yeah, it was like bomb. So this is sailing the Mediterranean. So for 
everyone who wants to sail in the Mediterranean, be prepared. No romantic dinners at the opera. anymore but now the furler is not furling anymore and the fuse is still there so I have to check so we don't know what's happening but it's getting a little bit more rough out here as well more winds more waves what's the plan the plan is I first I want to check what the problem is because we can't furl it and there's always a way to furl it manually so what do I need to do here stay here and uh, Follow instructions. Yes. So I just went to the furler. It seems everything seems fine. The fuse is not didn't went down. So the only thing I can imagine is that there's a belt running that the belt is broken. But we still have to make some miles. It's blowing 30 knots now. And we have almost full Genoa, but um, we will manage. We are behind the island and the uh, wind died down a bit. Over here there are not that many waves. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to furl, furl it manually to see if the, um, the mechanics are still working. If so, and it's not too much of work, I will dismantle it and I put a new build on it. Okay, so the mechanism is working, so probably it's just a belt, but I'm gonna do it uh, in the bay. So for now, just enjoying the sunset. And over there, it's Simi. And in the past we spent a lot of time in Simi. Simi is really a beautiful Greek island. Different bays and also a bay called Panamitis in the monastery and it's really amazing. So you know, with sailing there's always something. All of a sudden it's champagne sailing and then bam, big waves, big wind. All the time something will break. That's, that's life on a sailboat. There's always something, small things, big things. Or the engine is not running, or the furler is not furling, or the lights are not working, or there's always something. I've always had uh, spare parts. Spare filters for the engine, spare parts for the furler. Yeah. And then you can handle it. Then. We had this this before. All the preparations we need we already had during our sailing here in the Mediterranean for three years now. some amazing rocks just coming out of the, the sea and this is quite something special look it's like a really deep bay grocery is coming towards us this is really amazing the guys they are just bringing the fruit here 